Hi there. Welcome to the freelancing news. Today, I'm going to let you in on informative news. We have chosen five most trending topics for freelancers. As you know, the purpose of this channel is to deliver the most accurate information to viewers. For this, we have sorted out the best articles this week. At the end of the video, I have a premium course for you, so, watch the full video till the end as well as subscribe to my channel. At our number one list is Amazon's reduction in commission. Bad news for affiliate marketer Amazon is reducing commission rates. Amazon's affiliate program members are getting less money starting on April 21. According to CNBC, the e commerce giant has notified Amazon Associates, affiliates that link to products on its website in exchange for a percentage of the sales, that it's slashing commission rates across various categories. The changes are quite significant in some cases. The furniture and home improvement category's affiliate cut fell from 8% to 3%, for instance, while grocery items' commission rate is now down to 1% from 5%. The commission on ads for headphones, beauty products, musical instruments, and business and industrial supplies got reduced to 3% to 6%. The commission reduction could have a huge impact on websites, including media outlets, that rely heavily on Amazon's affiliate program to make money. The company spokesperson CNBC talked to Wouldn't Say whether the changes were made in response to COVID 19. But as the publication notes, there have been quite a few changes to Amazon's operations due to the pandemic. The company had to focus on shipping medical and cleaning supplies due to the outbreak. It also had to hire 100,000 warehouse and delivery workers to keep up with the demand now that people are turning to online shopping while stuck at home. More recently, it extended its return policy window for shoppers and improved its safety measures after workers protested about the lack of adequate protective gear against the disease. The second news on top five weekly freelancing news is why keyword optimization will fail and what to do instead. The article got published in jeffbullas.com, written by Enstein Mookie. The SEO search engine optimization industry has gone through a lot of changes in recent times, and as we speak, something new is being prepared. Core activities like keyword optimization and backlinking have all been shifted to a more strict position, making it tough for the average marketer. Keyword optimization is getting our attention in this post because of the erring position of many digital entrepreneurs. We apparently still haven't understood the evolution and sophistication of Google's algorithms. In Neil Patel's words, keyword research is still important, but the way we should be implementing it has changed. Google's algorithm has become more sophisticated. It no longer has to rely on simple keywords to tell it what your content is about. In a study conducted by SEMrush, 18% of domains ranking for high volume keywords don't have the keyword in the body. We just saw some proof of this above. If you want to read the full article, you can read it on jeffbullas.com. At our top 5 freelancing news, the third one is How to Master the YouTube Algorithm. This article has published in vidq.com. Tom is certified by YouTube as an expert in both audience growth and digital rights. He has discussed three C's of YouTube success. Tom confirms that there are a number of factors that could be affecting a channel's growth or lack of growth. He calls them the three C's of YouTube. On our number one list, consistency of uploads. On our number two list, consistency of topic. On our number three list, consistency of metadata. While being consistent with upload schedules and content topics is YouTube 101, being consistent with metadata, or how you optimize your content is key. Titles, tags, and descriptions need to work for you on a channel level, as well as on an individual video level. 
Tom also has described a mistake that everyone makes while keyword researching. People put the high competition tags into the YouTube tags option. Tom has suggested choose to that keyword that is getting high search volume, but low competition. That combination means that either there are not enough videos being made around that subject to cover that search demand or the videos are being made, but the competition is not optimizing their videos for the right keywords. If you want to download Tom's book, click below the description link. At number four, we have YouTube algorithm, seven key findings you must know. This article published in SEJ, written by Greg Jarbo, the writer has defined to the YouTube algorithm as a brain box. I also got very impressed. He has discussed seven ranking factors on YouTube. The people who are doing video marketing. This video is very informative for them. At number one, the value of optimizing metadata varies to maximize your presence in YouTube search and suggested videos. You still need to make sure your metadata is well optimized. This includes your video's title, description, and tags. When optimizing your title, put your keywords near the beginning, keep it to less than 50 characters long, and make it engaging for a high click through rate center. When optimizing your description, keep it from 50 to 150 words long, use your keyword one to three times, and minimize the use of boilerplate. When optimizing your tags, use your target keyword first, then others in order of importance, keep them tightly focused on a topic, use one to five word phrases, and keep them 100 to 300 characters long. At number two, titles are essential. Author has revealed the secret that video thumbnail and title are the first things viewers see when your video is suggested to them. On number three, all clicks are not created equal. YouTube's algorithm doesn't consider every click, because, well, if a viewer watches your video for two minutes or longer and continues to watch more videos during that the session, then YouTube's algorithm figures that he or she was satisfied with your content. 0.50% of the audience is lost in the first 20 seconds. Number four, video duration influences ranking or not. The video that is less than a two minute rank worse than a video that is between two and 20 minutes long. You can rank by storytelling techniques to maintain and build interest throughout the video, generally, rank higher than very short videos. Number five, there is a freshness boost for new videos. YouTube's algorithm favors the fresh video, a brand new gets a significant boost in the first three weeks, and even a fresh video gets a boost in weeks four through six. So, if you're currently uploading a video every three weeks, then consider uploading a brand new video every week. And if you're already uploading a video every week, then consider uploading a brand new video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday each week. Number six, views from embeds are of equal value. Adding YouTube videos and playlists to the website by embedding. It will dramatically increase views on YouTube channel. People usually embed YouTube videos instead of the playlist. Number seven, there are 15x more searches on Google than YouTube. Rank Ranger, which says that YouTube videos rank on 20% of Google keywords. And he cited Jumpshot again, which says 2% of all search clicks on Google go to YouTube. According to Semrush, when YouTube ranks in Google, it gets a featured snippet on 5% of its keywords. At our last freelancing news, the article we have chosen, The Best Writing Apps for Freelance Writers, author has mentioned the most famous apps for the content writer. Here are some of the most popular productivity apps for freelance writers. Comly Writer. The Comly Writer is a Chrome writing app that helps to block out distractions and lets you focus on what's important, your writing. The Comly Writer app takes away all the distractions of a traditional word processing app. You can format your text by simply selecting and clicking on the desired style. Zen Pen. Zen Pen is another great minimalist writing platform for writers who are easily distracted. When you just need to focus on your writing and block out all those annoying pop ups, notifications, and all too tempting Google search bar. Rescue Time. If you are having a difficult time staying on task, then Rescue Time will give you a detailed analysis of what you are spending your time on. Toggle. With a handy Chrome extension, you can easily track each project that you are working on without ever having to leave your work platform. Writing apps for creativity and better writing. If you want to catch your mistakes and want to improve your writing skills with no mistakes, then use this software. Grammarly. The Grammarly keyboard app helps to correct your grammar, spelling, and punctuation with anything that you type on your smartphone or computer. I personally use the desktop version of Grammarly for my writing and love it.
At number 2. Writing challenges. Don't worry about grammar, spelling, or proper sentence structure with this app, just worry about the writing and getting that creativity down on your digital paper. This app is meant to allow you to have fun with your writing and to be able to get in some writing just about anywhere. Squibbler. Squibbler is a fun writing prompt app to help you get your creativity flowing. You can set your writing time from anywhere between 3 and 60 minutes. Scrivener. Don't worry about copy and pasting pages of text, just drag and drop the chapter into the section you want to move it to. Writing apps for organizing your projects, Trello. You can easily link documents, images, and add deadline dates to your projects. Evernote. Do you ever notice that some of your best ideas tend to come when you are away from your computer? Evernote is a great writing app that helps you to organize all of your thoughts and ideas in one central location that you can easily access from any device. If you have liked our video then please subscribe to our channel. And also click below the description link for download the book. Good luck!